And I'm gonna tell you something, farming blueberries is not for the faint of heart now. No one year is ever the same. It's either, you know, hail storms or, or it's uh, frost damage, you know, or some kind of disease or insect pressure. Our hope is that they think about and understand the time, the effort, and the care that went in to grow and, and produce that berry that's in that packet they're going to eat. They know the uh, due diligence that we do to make sure it's a safe berry that they eat. Uh, and, uh, you know, we hope they understand that blueberries come from Superior Berries Farm and not from Kroger. This land that we're farming on has been in my wife's family, uh, some of it since 1822. Around the time that I graduated from college, my wife and I, we, we dated all through school, her grandfather passed away, and um, we wanted to hold on to the land, you know. Of course, it's like anything else, you know, if, you, if you're going to buy land, you got to figure out what you're going to do with it, you know. And So we started planting blueberries. Luckily, where we live at, we, we live close to the Okefenokee Swamp. God sort of ordained this area where we live at to, to, to grow blueberries. You know, we have high acidic soil, high organic matter, low pH. It's got the, uh, the root mat and the organic matter around the Okefenok Swamp that you can just grow blueberries, you know. As we say, there's always a new challenge. It's uh, either too wet, too dry, too hot, too cold. You know, I say all the time, we're just a bunch of farmers. You know, you'll never make us happy. You know, I say frost is one of the one of the biggest risks that we have in blueberries. You know, you can work all year long, and I've I've seen this uh, where, where you work all year long, and in one night, you know, the crop that you worked all year long for is taken away. You know, but a farmer is the ultimate optimist because uh, even when you lose a crop, you know, you can look out there and say, well, at least you know, there's always next year. You know, so. If you're a farm family, more than likely your kids and their kids grow up within the farm business and they're involved in it on a day-to-day -day basis. So they, they develop a connectivity to the land. My family's been farming, uh, I don't know, for generations and uh, I've grown up my whole life in it, you know, I guess it's something that gets in your blood. I remember as a kid driving the 4000 Ford, uh, pulling the B&O tobacco harvester and you get to the end of the rows and you, you know, too small to mash the clutch and you have to get somebody to help you turn it around and then you get going back and start it again, you know, so agriculture is something that is, I'm, I'm passionate about. When they pick up uh, a pack of fruit that has Georgia grown on it, they can be assured of the quality, the safety, and, and the care that went into, you know, producing that fruit. You know, if I, if, I, if I could just want anybody to know anything, it's just when you go in the grocery store, just look around and, and, and realize how blessed we are to have that. The people that started Superior Berries and Superior Pine, the Knight, the Williams, and the Lawrence family that started in 1926 are still, you know, on 97% of the, of the shares of the company now and still involved in it on a day-to-day -day basis from the standpoint of management, strategic, and that type of thing. When I came here, I had uh, 31 years in forestry and uh, came here and then had to learn about the blueberry business and as the saying goes it's like taking a drink out of a fire hose. I mean it's been a, an on-the-job training for sure. A few years ago I went to a country in Africa and this country um, they import 98 percent of their food. If you were to blockade the ports around their country there would be a uh, 
a food shortage in three days, their food supply is three days. I think sometimes because we do have, you know, agriculture has always been strong in the United States, whether it be the Midwest corn farmers or, or blueberry farmers in Georgia or, or, or beef cattle ranchers in, in Texas, I, th I think sometimes we take for granted what we have here as far as our, 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 our food supply. I want them, when they see that pack of GMR berries with a Georgia grown label on it, that they say, that's good fruit. I always count on that being good fruit.